described by Mr. Horton and told the contestants on The Price is Right in their decision-making and pricing games that is categorized as either stupid or misleading by the audience, as well as showing favoritism, is portrayed as a heel characteristic for entertainment purposes only. In actuality, Mr. Horton is in prejudice against the contestants based on their sex, their ethnicity, or their intelligence. And now, for this Tuesday, June 7th, 2011, it's the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap. Today's pricing games were the following. Let them roll, coming or going, one right price, balance game, that's too much, and swap me. Our first contestant was David. He played Let them roll for a Hyundai Accent GX. He was given one roll for free and had a chance to win two more rolls. First off, for the 64-ounce jar of Skippy Peanut Butter priced at $8.99, he believed the Easy Off Oven Cleaner was priced lower than that price. And yes, it was lower. It was $4.99. Then, for the Kingsford Charcoal, he believed it was priced higher than $4.99. It was lower. It was $3.99. Had a bad feeling on that. So he got two rolls. In his first roll, he got... Two cars and $2,500. David decided to roll again and get three more cars for that win. So in his second and final roll, he got two cars. But he did win, roll $1,500 as well. So $1,500 will mark as a consolation win for him. Joshua played coming or going for a cottage-style bedroom, plus his and her Croton watches. He chose the going price of $7,358 over the side of $8,537, which was the coming price. Hmm, should have been coming and not going was $8,537. I think those watches made it that pricey. Ryan played one right price for a MyBackUSA.com steam shower and an ultra-contemporary bar set. He believed the one right price of $2,289 went to the bar set and not the steam shower. Felt good on that choice. And when the one right price was revealed, it was $2,289. So he won the bar set plus the steam shower, priced at $3,799. His winnings in prizes... $6,088. Rhonda played balance game for a trip to Aruba. To go along with the $59 bag she was given for free, she chose the $3,000 and $4,000 bag, making the price $7,059. Once again, I felt really good on that choice. And when the bag full of $2 for that trip to Aruba was placed on the scale, the scales... Balanced! It was $7,059! Myra played That's Too Much for a Nissan Juke S. She said the three words on the fifth price, $19,801. Hmm, should have went two more times. The price that was too much was $22,560. Actual retail price, $21,170. Yeah, I didn't think she was going to win on the 19801. Finally, Stephanie played swap meet for a Dell tablet notebook computer along with a outdoor gas fireplace Venetian from the Blue Rooster Company, Tory Birch accessories, and a 55-inch HD LCD TV. She swapped the tablet computer for the accessories. The accessories were $9.95. I didn't think it would be that much. I thought more than that. So, if the tablet was $995, she would win all four prizes. And the price of the tablet computer from Dell was $550. I have to be honest. I thought she had a chance on winning that game. But the prize she should have swapped 
with the fireplace that was five fifty, and the TV by the way was two thousand ninety nine. Today, we had two pricing game wins. They were one right price and balance games. Plus, we gave away $2,500 in cash. $1,500 won by David and let him roll. $500 won by Ryan for a perfect bid. And $500 won by Stephanie for a perfect bid. MVP, they go to Ryan and Rhonda for their pricing game wins. I have to name Joshua MVP as well, because he may not have won his pricing game, but he won a Cadillac CTS in his showcase that was seen by Viva Elvis from Cirque du Soleil. And contestant recognition goes to David for his $1,500 win, and Stephanie gets contestant recognition for a perfect fit. This week, the Price is Right Price Game Recap is sponsored by Deer Park 100% Natural Spring Water. Deer Park, born better. That's it for tonight, everyone. See you tomorrow.